Hello friends and all of you must be having the subject heat transfer for engineering of course and it is related to thermal everything is related to heat heat is coming heat is going heat is passing heat is getting conveyed heat is getting conducted it is getting radiated too much of loss too much of confusion too much of theory too much of chaotic no one likes heat transfer unlike me i didn't like it as well but i scored somehow very good and i scored with flying colors so today i'll be sharing with you how to pass the heat transfer paper and how to solve it very properly to at least score 50 marks in the end semester exam and 10 20 marks in the in semester exam which can total up to 70 marks when the final result which is a very pre pre decent score without joining any classes of any types let's see what the paper look like this is the first paper that is the in semester paper which you will be facing somewhat in august or September. In the first question you always have a 6 mark theory and a 4 mark numerical or a 4 mark theory and 6 mark numerical one and the same. Doesn't matter what you study you have to write at least the 6 mark or the 4 marks and you have to at least perform half of the numerical if you don't understand anything from heat transfer. They are very simple you have to copy from your person sitting ahead of you or a person sitting behind you. It is that easy or you can just write down the theory. 6 mark theory is done. You can write a page or keep a page aside for this particular numerical and proceed to the third question. Now you will be happy to see that a fourth question has transient heat condition numerical. Question number 4b are very easy to solve because transient heat condition has only one formula t minus t infinity upon ti minus t infinity is equal to e raised to minus h a t upon rho v c. That's all. That's all you have to write in your paper and take away the six mark. I hope you can do that very easily. Next will be question number 5 or question number 6. Again a 4 mark theory and a 4 mark theory with a 6 6 mark numerical. Now it totally depends on you. If you find fin if easy to solve then fin is for you go for it. If fin is not for you then you can write down the theory of it and 4 marks theory is very easy to write you can score. Make sure you write the answers very properly because teachers are not very good at giving marks internally and you have to face they are chaos after marking in case you don't write the paper as per their condition or situation if the teacher subject teacher is too experienced he may even cut marks for silly mistakes so make sure you write the paper very nicely make a box for everything you draw draw a diagram if even if it doesn't exist draw a graph even if it doesn't exist who cares who cares from where you studied so this is all about in semester paper let's see how the in semester paper looks like Seeing the first paper of 70 marks, this is what the semester or the end semester paper looks like. You will be very glad or very happy to know or very surprised whatever you may say. 55 marks are for theory or 50 marks are compulsory for theory after the 70 marks and 20 marks for the numerical. Come on man, passing is not difficult for heat transfer. You don't need to join a class for that. Now, starting with the first question, you have 10 marks theory, Cartesian coordinates, 2 marks derivation. 2 pages derivation and half page for all the th remaining 3 equation. Pretty easy right? 10 marks for a derivation. Yay! You have almost scored half of the marks you required to pass. So 10 marks are done, 18 are remaining. Now question number 2. Having 2 marks theory and 8 marks numerical. Who cares for the numerical man? Just solve the theory for 10 marks. You will get almost 8 marks out of it. Question number 3b is for transient heat condition 8 marks and 2 marks for the response of a thermocouple. Transient heat condition T minus T infinity, T i minus T infinity, blah blah blah. I know you are bored, so am I. Next, you get 10 marks here, 10 marks in the first question. Out of 20, you get 16 marks. Easy. No problem solving it. Remaining 12 marks for passing. Question number 5 and 6 are to the rescue. Now, question number 5 will always contain dimensionless number in convection now forced convection and natural convection has two type of number that is forced and natural dimensionless number one of it will always appear in your examination for 8 6 10 4 2 no matter how much marks they will always appear in your examination so out of 12 you have already scored 8 marks from 8 you will score 6 marks so 6 marks are remaining to pass is it difficult no it's not of course so question number 5b is a little difficult keep a page aside just copy it later or just solve it later if you can go for the theory because they are rewarding right of course they are question number 7b was having 10 marks theory question number 8 was having 8 marks theory 
बट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन हैड ऑल द लॉज दैट इज प्लैंक्स वेन्स एंड किरच ऑफ लॉ वेरी इजी मैंड रेडिएशन लॉज एंड वॉट इज अ ग्रे बॉडी हाउ डज इट डिफर फ्रॉम अ ब्लैक बॉडी यू हैव टू राइट ऑब्जॉबिटी ऑब्जॉबिटी ट्रांसमिसिविटी रिफ्लेक्टिविटी एंड एवरीथिंग ब्ला 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 रिलेटेड टू द ब्लैक बॉडी वॉट इज अ डिफ्यूज ग्रे बॉडी मैन द ग्रामेटिकल एयर वॉट इज अ डिफ्यूज ग्रे बॉडी इट सीम्स सो आउट ऑफ द फोर थ्री मार्क्स आउट ऑफ सिक्स फाइव मार्क्स सो एट मार्क्स आर डन यू हैव स्कोर थर्टी मार्क्स ऑलरेडी इफ आई वुड हैव चेक योर पेपर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट हैड सिक्स मार्क्स थेरी टू मार्क्स न्यूमेरिकल टेन मार्क्स न्यूमेरिकल बॉल्स टू दिस यू हैव टू सॉल्व द सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन वेरी इजी को नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्थ वॉज ड्रॉ अ लेबल स्केच ऑफ पूल बॉइलिंग कर्व एक्सप्लेन द फॉलोइंग टर्ब्स पूल बॉइलिंग कर्व द रेजिम्स ऑफ पूल बॉइलिंग कर्व फिल्म वाइज ड्रॉप वाइज कंडेंसेशन एन टी यू इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ द एन टी यू हीट एक्सचेंजर एल एम टी डी पैरल फ्लो काउंटर फ्लो आई एम नॉट इवन सींग द क्वेश्चन पेपर राइट नाउ बट यू हैव टू ऑलवेज प्रैक्टिस ऑल दिस थियरी वेरी वेल एंड यू कैन ईजीली स्कोर ऑल द एटीन मार्क्स और द रिमेनिंग टेन ट्वेंटी मार्क्स लेफ्ट इन द लास्ट टू थ्री क्वेश्चन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्थ हैड एट मार्क्स थियरी एंड अगेन अ फोर मार्क्स थियरी सो एट प्लस फोर ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व मार्क्स ईजी और क्वेश्चन नंबर टेंथ हैज अगेन एट मार्क्स थेरी एंड एट मार्क्स न्यूमेरिकल बट द क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन सी वॉज वेरी इजी टू सॉल्व यू हैड जस्ट टू फाइंड आउट द टेम्परेचर आई एज्यूम एंड आई एडवाइज यू टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ए एंड नाइन सी फर्स्ट देन गो फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन बी इफ यू कैन सॉल्व इट वेरी वेल इफ नॉट हु केयर यू हैव ऑलरेडी पास हीट ट्रांसफर यू नोट नीड टू वरी अबाउट इट बट आई एज आई एडवाइज यू इफ यू गेट टू कॉपी और चीट फ्रॉम एनी वेयर do it because no one cares how you scored marks it all boils down to what percentile did you score at the end of the semester so question number 9a and question number 9c are done this is some this is what the paper of an in semester heat transfer university of pune looks like 55 marks theory yeah that's what how it is let's see another paper what it looks like so this is another paper which is having again first question is for 10 marks theory you don't need to see the second question of course you have to always prepare the theory very well don't hesitate or don't go for the numericals they won't help you pretty much they will leave you messed up and confused in the examination question number 3 again has a transient heat condition and a theory for 4 marks that is 10 and 10 20 marks out of 20 you can score 18 16 17 depends on how you write the paper remaining 10 to 12 marks are left question number 5 and 6 to the rescue as i said in the last video so write a note on velocity boundary pretty easy write a note on mechanism of natural convection distinguish it from the forced convection all you had to write is in forced convection you heat the fluid in natural convection you don't pretty simple for four marks six marks for the velocity boundary and thermal boundary layer 10 marks are done from this 10 marks 8 marks you can easily score if it is properly keep a page aside for question number 60 so you can copy it from from partner from a neighbor from anyone or from the book itself this is joking question number 7a has all the laws of radiation again in the just like the last paper it had you will always get laws you will always get the radiation uh, the forced convection numbers that is the dimensionless numbers in forced and natural convection next question number 8 had also a ten theory i do not advise you or suggest you to solve the shape factor because they are difficult or they are lengthy time consuming to solve now the best part of the question paper is the last two questions you have question number 9th and question number 10th 18 marks is coming straight towards you marching giving you all the power to pass question number 9 and 10th 18 marks theory that is lmtd for parallel flow and critical heat flux and also the pool boiling critical heat flux for pool boiling regimes of pool boiling drop wise film wise condensation ntu effectiveness do not leave any of these question they are always repeated they are from your syllabus nothing is from outside nothing will be from outside ever no reference book is used all these numerical theory are from your tech max publication textbooks if you are confused in case book to refer so this paper you can easily score 55 marks from this a checker is or the moderator is kind enough you can easily score 45 marks which is single handedly enough to pass in the end semester rather than joining hectic classes sitting in the examination hall and worrying about the future no you don't have to it's pretty simple to pass so this is all about heat transfer i hope you liked it do drop a like if you liked it share and comment and keep subscribing i hope to see you in my next video